Gracious Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this wonderful day. You have given us the God. We are committing ourselves to the mighty hand of God. Father, speak to us the God this morning. We are sitting in your presence. And Lord, help us to understand the spiritual meanings of the word of God. Help us to grasp the things, oh Lord, which is written in the Bible of God. We thank you for encouraging us through the Psalms. And we thank you for that you are going to speak to us, oh God. We are committing everything in the mighty hand of God. Thank you for hearing a prayer, oh God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Praise God. So how many of you remember what, was I, what I was preaching on the last uh, uh, Sunday? What was the main topic? The crowns. Amen. The crowns and the rewards of a true believer. The rewards of a true believer. It was to encourage every one of us. Right? It was to encourage every one of us. But still, it was from Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. Right? That means... Every true believer is going to receive a reward or a crown from heaven, from Jesus Christ. Amen. So that's what we were discussing. And it was from uh, Revelation chapter 22 verse 12 where it says, Behold, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me to render to every man according to what he has done. So this is the point that we have been discussing. So this morning also, I am planning to continue that same I mean topic and I will be concluding that topic today and also uh, I would like to uh, ask some uh, questions from that portion because you know I, 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 I must know that I mean it is it is very clear to you I mean so there are three four questions I'm asking so especially to the children those who are here you can give the answer for that those questions okay only four questions are there okay so how many crowns are there in the New Testament yes Nathan Yes. Three? Who said five? Jonathan, you are great. That's good. Okay? So, it, it, it is five. Okay, so I, 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 I forgot to bring the cookies or something. Candy or something. <laughs> so, Jonathan Angle is having So, you can get it from them. <laughs> okay. Second question. What was the first crown we discussed last week? Children, children. The first crown about which we discussed. Yes? It is there? Oh. Hey. That's good anyway. Okay. Third question. Who will receive this crown? The crown of glory. Yes, Nathan. Yeah. Believers? Uh, not actually. Yeah, Jonathan? Uh, yes. Shepherd. Good. Shepherd means the ministers or the pastors. But not only for the pastors, but those who are laboring in the vineyard of God, they also will receive that crown. That's what I believe. Okay. And the third one. Who will receive this crown? And also, what was the what is the Greek word for crown? Yeah, then. First part, I don't know. No, no. <laughs> okay, okay, leave that one. And the, the last question the, uh, the, who will receive the, the crowns? That means, uh, what is the Greek word for the crown? Stephan. Stephan. Uh, st it is Stephanos. Stephanos, okay? And that word comes from Stephen, uh, who, is in, uh, who is written in Acts of Apostles. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so I was not able to complete that point. Uh, the second point, okay, the second point, the, the crown of righteousness, okay, that was the point that we were discussing in the last class, sorry, it was not the class, but the, it was the sermon, but, you know, in, in the, uh, you know, <laughs> as I'm taking the Friday Bible study, I'm looking into that, you know, always class, 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 okay, anyway, we'll come uh, come back to that point, the, the, the crown of righteousness, okay, the crown of righteousness, and uh, that is from 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse, uh, it is there, uh, I mean, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8. Okay? So, let me continue with that uh, uh, point. You know, here, in this particular verse we understand, according to Paul, this crown of righteousness will be awarded to the faithful and righteous and true believers of God. To the faithful, righteous people and true believers of God. For whom that fought a good fight and finished the race and kept the faith. 
Okay, that's the reason that Apostle Paul was saying, I will receive that crown because I fought the good fight and I finished my race and I am keeping my faith in God. So, not only for me, he said, not only for me, but for all those who are waiting forward for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's the reason that I said it is not only for Apostle Paul, but this crown is for every believer. Every believer, that means there are true believers and false believers. But God is looking for the true believers and only the true believers will be in the heaven and those people will be receiving this uh, I mean, righteousness. Why, you know, I was, I mean, when I was thinking about this crown, that again, why it is clearly written that uh, this will be uh, given for the righteous people or the true believers or uh, the, the, the faithful people because there are many unfaithful people also in Christendom, right? There are many unfaithful people. There are many unrighteous people in the Christendom. So that's a, that may be the reason that Apostle Paul was saying that only for those who are finishing their race, only for those who are righteously living in this world. When, and it's not uh, the self-righteousness also. It's not the self-righteousness means that there are many people depending upon their self-righteousness and saying that, okay, this is what I'm doing and this is right and this is right, this is right. But it is not that we are righteous people, not only because of your merit, but it's only because of the grace of God. It's only because of we are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ that we are the righteous people. Okay, so let's, let's move on. You know, we are obtaining this or possessing this crown and we are going to receive this crown in a right way. It is not by forcing somebody or it is not by cheating somebody or it is not by canvassing somebody. Listen, you know, we are going to receive that righteousness crown, the crown of righteousness. We are not receiving that in a wrong way. Okay, that means, you know, in the secular world, you will understand there are many things which is happening uh, unfair. Okay, there are many things which is happening unfair and the people are, I mean, uh, uh, running for uh, getting a prize for in different ways, uh, in, a, in a wrong way. You know, there are many people running for that. But we are not getting that or we are not going to receive the crown of righteousness by cheating somebody. Or uh, uh, canvassing somebody, you know, you know that you know in India uh, the, the 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 kids programs in school when it is happening, uh, we call it as a youth festival or something. And so when it is happening, there there is, there is a practice. The parents of the students or the the children they will go to the the judge. There will be a judge. Huh? So they will go to the judge and will say uh, uh, that is my son. Okay, that number is my son's or my daughter's number. And when he is called, when you give him a little more mark or first price or something because I will give you something. I will give you something extra, the money. Okay, that practice is there in India. Okay, here there is nothing like that. Like, eh? So in India it is there. So, But actually I was thinking, you know, we are going to receive that price or we are going to receive, the true believers are going to receive that crown from heaven that is not by cheating anybody. That is not by, I mean, canvassing somebody with money. When, but it is we are going to get it, I mean, only through the, through the right way. When, and we are not getting all the crowns through competing with other people. You know, many times the, the people are competing. You know, we have the competitions in, uh, in different places. But in the church, there is no competition. You believe that? In the church, there is no competition because we are trusting in the Lord and we are the believers and there is no competition in between the believers. Amen? But the secular world, the people are receiving or the people are running after the prize or all those things and the awards or the, the, the credits or uh, the, the, the rewards or something and they are cheating others and pulling down somebody and I mean, they are saying, oh, I got this prize and I got the first prize because man, I did it. But at the same time, in Christianity, in spirituality, in Christian church, there is no pulling down another person and coming to the position or becoming a great person or spiritual person. We all are running together, right? Hello? Hello? We all are running together. Man, the, the Christian's attitude is not, okay, I'm competing with a person or I have the competition with that person. I want to put down that person and I want to go to heaven. No. There is no attitude like that. 
You know, I'm, but I'm, I think, okay, I'm thinking, okay, I want to go to heaven first. Huh? Can, you, can you think that? Oh, I want to go, to go to heaven first. I should be the first person in heaven. Will it happen? No. no. We all are going together to heaven. At a, at a moment, at a time. Okay? So we are going together to heaven. So we cannot say that, okay, I want to get the prize. But we have to run. And we have to do many things to get the prize. For the first prize, I believe that, uh, I mean, only, the, the, all the people, those who are reaching in heaven will be getting the first prize. You know that? All the people, all the true believers, those who are, those who are living in this world, and reaching into heaven, they are going to get the first prize. I mean, the prize, I mean, the prize, the prize, the difference, but the crowns are not the difference. But we are going to receive the, the first prize, everyone is going to get the first prize in heaven. Okay? That means, we are running and we are focusing into the crown in heaven. Our focus is not on, the, on anything which is in, in the earth, but we are focusing always towards the, the crown which is in heaven. So that is what we understand, you know, in Malayalathil Anangil Sadarne Alagil Odumbendiyum. Uh, uh, you can see the, the race, you know, the athlete and all. I mean, sometimes, you know, they are cheating. By cheating, they are, I mean, getting the first prize. That means, you know, Just to the you know, it's, it's a cheating. That means, you know, putting the, putting the legs in between and, and saying that, okay, oh, okay, I got the first prize. You know, we are not running in that way. Okay? We are in a race. We know that we are in a race. But we are not running in that way. But we are in a proper track. And we all are I mean, uh, I mean, running together. And we all are fighting together. And we are saying, oh, we need to get that crown. We need to get that crown. Not only for me, but for, all, for, but for everyone, those who are seeking and searching for the second coming of Jesus. Hallelujah. This should be our mentality, our attitude, that I will get that crown. Now, we will go to the third, I mean, crown, which is mentioned in James chapter 1, verse 12. James chapter 1, verse 12 is the, is the crown that you can see, the crown of life. Okay, read that verse, maybe. The crown of life. <clears throat> James chapter 1, verse 12. Blessed is the one who... Pr pr Preserves under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Okay. They will receive those who are promised. That means, that means there is a promise for someone that you are going to receive this crown. Which is this crown? The crown of life. Jeeva Kiridam. Prabhikim. Jeeva Kiridam. So for whom? This is, I mean, already God has appointed that this person is going to get this, I mean, and crown. And, and it is very clearly written that this is also given for the believers, but specifically for those who are martyrs of Christ. The martyrs of Christ means those who died for Christ and tortured and persecuted. And there are many martyrs, in the, even in the Bible, uh, who is the first martyr? Stephen. Stephen is the first martyr and even when I mean, there are many people I mean work for the Lord and they mart I mean, became martyrs for, of Christ and those people are going to receive that crown at the same time all other believers are also going to get that uh, I mean I mean uh, that crown because in Revelation chapter 2 verse 10 it is there that to, to the message to the I mean Smyrna church okay to the Smyrna church I mean God says that be faithful until death you will receive the crown of life. Okay, so or not only for the martyrs of Christ, but all those people, those who are faithful until death. That means, even if there are many sufferings, even if there are many persecutions, the tribulations or uh, the, the troubles in their lives, at the same time, if that person is holding fast the faith, and if that person is always clinging upon the promises of God, if that person is trying to, I mean, I mean, uh, to, uh, to, to get that crown, and that person will be faithful in this birth. And that person is saying that, I will get that because I am becoming faithful until the death and the God's promises you will receive the crown of life. That means for those believers who endure the trials and tribulations and the severe sufferings, man, even unto the death. Okay, in Revelation chapter 2 verses 8 to 11. 
specifically it says that if you are i mean enduring the persecution or troubles or sufferings you know when sam was uh, uh, explaining from the sam and uh, sam number 125 he was saying our trust in the lord our faith in the lord is not a temporary uh, i mean trust or something but we are trusting in the lord permanently that means we are always looking forward to god even if we are going through the troublesome situation even if we have the troubles in this world we are trusting in the lord and we believe that god will enable us to go through that pro- i mean problems right you know many times you know yeah that was the last, i mean last uh, the adult class i was t- i mean when i was sharing with them i i was saying no there are many people uh, just i mean leaving the faith and going away from the presence of the, from the bible you know the reason is they believe that okay whatever we pray god is able to provide that okay and trusting in the lord only for the material things and only for something which is on this earth and they will say okay if they are not getting it then they will say no no this god is not good I mean i don't want this god i don't believe in god because god is not doing anything for me but we are not trusting in the lord only for these temporary things but we are trusting in the lord and that god will enable us to go through these problems to endure the problems to endure the trials and the i mean persecutions or uh, tribulation or suffering so that is what we believe that our god is always i mean with us so those people those who are going through the sufferings and the tr- i mean troubles in their life and especially for the martyrs and they will i mean receive this crown i mean for their glory and the fourth one the fourth uh, uh, crown is uh, known as the 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 incorruptible or imp- have the self control and uh, uh, if ha- if we have that attitude or if we have that uh, i mean character in our lives then only we may be looking for what the crown okay so um, uh, exercising or what is that um, uh, it is written that uh, i mean uh, self controlling or uh, there's other ways uh, we are exercising or uh, we are uh, i mean putting our our, our body under under and uh, as a sleep that means capturing the body and we are saying that okay i am doing everything with my body my organs for the glory of god not for myself then right? so that is the reason that these crowns are very glorious we understand all the other crowns or the awards or the medals or something which we are getting in this world is maybe in the ancient world it was uh, i mean out of made out of something like uh, the leaves or uh, or, the, or the or the branches of the tree or some other kinds of medals or something uh, gold or silver or something else but at the same time the people of god those who are going to receive the crown from heaven will not be fade away and that will not be perishable but it is no it is going to be the imperishable crown in heaven hallelujah so that is our expectation you know all other crowns all other prizes all other i mean rewards and awards which we are getting from this world is perishable but the heavenly the heavenly crown the heavenly prize the heavenly award is not i mean perishable but we are i mean enduring for that and we are waiting for that uh, i mean peri- i mean imperishable i mean uh, crowns which will not be perishable which is not withered or which is not uh, i mean fades away quickly okay so we will go to the fifth crown and that is the crown of rejoicing okay so when i am explaining about these five crowns now something we have to keep in our mind that you know we are looking forward something which is glorious than this world okay so uh, the, the the worldly people they are always looking for the the worldly crown or the worldly prize or the award or something the gifts from this world but we people of god the true believers are always looking towards heaven and saying that i need that crown which is imperishable we are always looking towards heaven and we are going to receive that heaven from heaven the crowns the fifth one is the crown of rejoicing okay that is from first thessalonians chapter 2 verses 19 and 20 First Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 19 and 20 <clears throat> For what is our hope or joy or crown of boasting before our Lord Jesus at his coming it is not you for you are our glory and our joy Okay here you know apostle Paul is writing to the Thessalonian people and saying that you know you will get a crown at the same time uh, it is that um, uh, it is that for for who is our hope that means apostle Paul is going to receive a crown and he says that you are our hope the believers are our hope and joy 
or crown of exaltation it is not even you in the presence of the lord jesus that is coming for you are our glory and joy that means he is saying that i preached the gospel to the people and many people were led into christ many people were led into christ and those people are my crown and those people are my joy when i reach in heaven that means when paul is reaching in heaven he is looking into some of the people and saying oh this this man or this sister is uh, is uh, i mean in christ now but i i was preaching to those people and i was uh, sharing the gospel to those people and they came to they came to uh, christ and they came to the church and they became the i mean members of the church and because of i was sharing to those people so the people those were leading someone else into christ the people those who are leading the unbelievers into the saving knowledge of jesus christ they are going to receive that crown the crown of rejoicing the crown of rejoicing that means faithfully witnessing jesus to the unreached people faithfully faithfully witnessing jesus to the other people means not only preaching you know most of the time uh, some of the people are thinking okay Uh, witnessing jesus or preaching that means that is the real uh, no, no preaching is the real witnessing no pre- preaching is not only the the real pre- i mean uh, uh, witnessing but you can witness from your life also okay so it, suppose you are living in a house and uh, there are many neighboring people okay so when you are living there let other people know that you are a believer let other people say that oh this is a true believer and he is serving god and he is uh, i mean worshiping god and he is always worshiping and uh, he is praying so this is a good person and he is believing in god and that itself is a witness that is a piece of witness not only preaching so no understand you know if somebody is some I mean helping a pastor or a, uh, i mean somebody is helping a minister or a leader uh, for bringing the other people into christ that means helping other i mean the pastors and saying that okay okay uh, pastor this is the person that i i know and you can just share uh, the gospel with that person so that also is a ministry and and if you are doing that you will receive that crown not only the pastors but all the people those who are i mean doing something for the lord they are going to receive that reward from the heaven men you can also be fruitful in the hands of god you can be as a vessel in the hands of god you can do something for the ministry of the lord whatever we are doing in our church and outside the church and god is looking for those people those who are laboring for the lord in the vineyard of god not only the pastors but all the people all the believers those who are working hard for i mean making possible and making possible to i mean bring the people into christ they are going to receive that uh, from there even in first peter chapter 1 verse 4 we read that the heavenly crowns are incorruptible and undefiled does not fade away and that is what we are going to get the inheritance in heaven i mean our inheritance in heaven is not i mean i mean a, a not i mean a perishable not i mean i mean uh, undefiled but it is going to, to be the glorious thing that we are going to receive i mean from the lord and especially in this particular verse it is i mean clearly written that price is reserved in heaven the price is reserved in heaven what do you mean by that okay so when you are doing something for the lord for the kingdom of god or a, a kind of ministry or using the talent for the lord you know your doings and your work is recorded in the heaven at the same time you know that you have the uh, you have the crown there it is already reserved hmm? it is already reserved in heaven okay so the problem is you will receive that i mean crown if you reach there in heaven if you are not reaching in the heaven no crown no crown so for what we are laboring now first of all labor to reach there first of all do something to reach there in heaven then only you will get the crown you know it is it is sure that we have the reservation you know when we are traveling in train we know that we have taken the reservation and uh, many times you know it happened uh, with us in in india uh, you know traveling for some other places and uh, uh, going to the railway station and sometimes you know we may miss the train because we are not in the time okay so sometimes you know we may miss the train 
you know and and i'm saying okay i have reservation the ticket is with me i have the reservation oh i will go to i will go to that place no no it doesn't mean that you will be there but if you are there in time faithfully reaching before time you will get into the train and that says that your reservation ticket is okay you know, sometimes what is happening now we are saying oh everything is okay i'm attending at the prayer meeting i'm attending for the sunday services i'm doing that i'm doing this and everything is okay but the question is will you be there in heaven if you're not reaching there you don't have any facilities okay suppose that you have taken the the ac ticket or something for the train then you are saying oh i have the ticket i have the reservation i have the reservation but if you are not inside the train the facilities are waste okay there are facilities in heaven there are many facilities there are many crowns but if you are not reaching in heaven there is no meaning at all so this is the time that we can prepare ourselves and say to the lord oh lord i need to be there oh lord there are many things that we are doing but at the same time i mean lord i need to be there and last sunday i told you that there are three things which is going to happen together three things are going to happen in one occasion which are those things during the time of the rewarding day the rewarding day or rewarding ceremony three things are going to happen together the judgment of the believers the test by the fire <coughs> then third one rewarding ceremony it was there when and we read uh, three bible verses and we explained all those things but now we come to the that the second point the second thing that means you know in first corinthians chapter 3 verses 12 to 15 that is the important portion that we have to understand okay so we are waiting for three functions or three i mean things to happen during the time of the rewarding ceremony okay the first thing is the judgment of the believers and we believe that uh, according to romans chapter 8 verse 1 that there is no condemnation or there is no punishment for the believers but there is a judgment there is a judgment there is no condemnation there is no punishment for the believers but there is a judgment without judgment there is no punishment okay so there is a judgment and also there is a test by fire okay and third thing is awarding awarding the gift or awarding the crown Okay, in First Corinthians chapter three, verses twelve to fifteen. Okay, can okay, you read that verse? Maybe very clearly it says about uh, I mean how to be I mean how our works are going to be tested by the fire. Okay, First uh, uh, Corinthians chapter three, verses twelve to fifteen. Yeah. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become manifest. For the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed by fire, and fire will test what sort of work each one has done. If the work that anyone has built on foundation survives, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, though he himself will be saved, but only as through fire. Okay, so this... Uh, judgment seat of Jesus Christ is known as the how many of you know that Bema seat of Jesus Christ the Bema seat of Jesus Christ means the judgment seat of Jesus Christ in this particular time okay the Bema the word Bema uh, is uh, coming from Greek and the meaning is judgment seat okay so that Bema seat of Jesus Christ is there you will understand from this first Corinthians chapter uh, uh, 3 Okay, so there is a test which is happening in heaven for the believers, for the believers, and particularly it is written there that there are many things which is used. Okay, so that means, you know, we are using many things in this world and the judge is sitting at the finishing point of the ground and distributing the medals or the prizes for the people, those who are winning. Listen, you know, in the in the earlier time, this was the practice. Even today, also there are some. I mean, some places this practice is there. You know, when the race is happening there, when that athlete is I mean, happening there, you know, when the people are winning and the judge is sitting at the end of that, at the edge of that ground, and he is waiting. The judge is waiting for the people, those who are winning. And he is just keeping the, the medals or the, 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 the crowns or something in his hand and saying, okay, I'm just looking forward for the people, those who are winning and reaching the finishing point. 
Okay, so that is what we understand. Our Lord Jesus is sitting there on the, the Bhima seat of uh, our judgment. And one day, the test by fire will be happening. The test by fire means, you know, our work. Okay, and our intention behind the work is important. Okay, whatever we do in this world for the kingdom of God or for the ministry or for the church, whatever it may be, all those things will be tested by the fire. This is known as the Bhima seat of Jesus Christ. And Jesus is sitting there and there are many things used. Okay, so Apostle Paul is using many other I mean, common and also opposite kinds of materials there. The gold is there, silver is there, precious stones are there. Which means this is permanent and valuable. Okay, gold, silver, precious stones used there. That means permanent and valuable. But at the same time, there are wood, hay, straw. That means temporary, easily consumable. That means our judge is sitting there and he is looking at the people and just testing the work of the people. Not only the work of the people, but the intention behind that work. That when he is testing by the fire, we understand in that particular verse it says that if any man's work which has built on it remains and he will receive a reward. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. That means the salvation is okay, and he reached in heaven, but he is going to lose something. He is going to lose something. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, but he himself will save himself. That means he will be there in heaven, but he will lose the lose the crowns okay crowns that there are many crowns there but the thing is you know it is not important that how much when time we are spending for the lord or it is it, it, it is also important but most of the time it is important that how enthusiastically that we are doing something for the lord or how much effort they are we are i mean spending how much time we are spending how much energy we are spending for the lord and how much money we are spending for the lord all those things are important but it is important, very important than all those things that how faithfully, how sincerely you are doing that. I'm coming to the point. The God is not looking only how much you are doing or how much you are spending or how much uh, I mean, effort you are doing or how much uh, energy you are spending. But how much powerfully you are doing. No, God is always looking unto a person and saying that how much sincerely you are doing that work. That means, how much faithfully you are doing that work. And how much you are faithful in the hands of God when you are doing something for the Lord. The intention behind what you are doing. This is very important. Most of the time, we are not looking into the intention of the people, those who are doing something. Okay? But just believe that, you know, when, when God is looking or when God is testing the work of the people, God is not only looking how much you are doing or how far you did, but God is looking how faithful you are doing that. For example, when I am preaching, okay, when, I am, when I am making a sermon or preaching, you know, God is looking unto me and saying how much faithful you are saying in that and how much sincere you are doing that. I mean, so when, when we are singing, you know, it should not be, I mean, I mean, I mean, getting a fame, I mean, from someone and also it should not be, I mean, uh, for, a, for a fame or somebody or for appreciation or something, but do it for the Lord and intention should be right. The intention should be right. And when we are singing or song or preaching or something or playing a, I mean, a musical instrument or, or doing anything, anything, most of the time the people are thinking, oh, I have to do that. I have to perform that and I have to preach well. That's good. But at the same time, God is looking behind the intention, the intention behind the work that we are doing. Many attempts, you know, we are not, we are not I mean, thinking about that. What is the intention behind our doings? I mean, you know, uh, for, a, for example, let me tell you. Um, okay. Uh, usually, when I, I used to visit the houses, you know, some of the people, some of the families, they used to give uh, uh, some money or offering uh, in, in my hand. So the first thing that uh, if they are the new members and uh, I will tell them that are you giving the tithe to the church? This is the first question I'm asking. Okay, when they are giving me something, I will ask, are you giving to uh, giving the uh, I mean, tithe to the church? And uh, they will say, no, no, we are not, we are not giving now. Um, okay, then I will say the second second reply will be, you know, you have to give the 
tied to the church. Then only you give to give me. Okay. So then, I, 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 when I say that, they will say, okay, this and that and the, those things. But I will say, no, this is a practice that you have to give the tie to the church. Okay. And if you are giving to the pastor also something, it's okay. No problem. Okay. I appreciate it. At the same time, you know, when we are giving that, the problem is, when you are giving something to the pastor and when you are giving that, if you are thinking, okay, if I am giving something to the pastor, oh, pastor will be supporting me always. Hmm? The pastor will be standing with me and the pastor will be supporting me always. And always the pastor will be appreciating me. If you are thinking that, the money you have given to the pastor is waste. Does that make sense? That means, giving is okay. But what is the intention behind that? Okay. Doing everything, everything is okay. Man, you are doing many things, but what is the intention behind it? Even if you are preaching, even if you are singing, or playing the music, or doing I mean, something for the, the charity work, or uh, uh, pay, I mean, giving the tithe or the offering, man, or the collection, whatever it may be, whatever talents that you are given, I mean, you have many talents by God. You are I mean, blessed with many talents by God. And when you are using that, Think about what is my intention behind it. You know, I know one brother, uh, he was one, one of my close friends in India. You know, when I was ministering in a church, uh, that brother used to give me every month, that brother used to give me some amount of money. I was just thinking about that, you know, why this brother is giving me money. And uh, uh, I was just thinking, and one day, what happened, you know, those days uh, we didn't have the salary system or something. We didn't, you know, we didn't have the, the church was not having the salary system. But the offerings that which is coming there or something which is coming in the offering bag, that is for pastor. That is, uh, and, and, and that was the, 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 the toughest time for us to survive also. Okay, so even in that, one brother was giving me, I mean, a, a good amount of money every month. Then one day I said, you know, brother, uh, what are you doing? You are doing something wrong. And that is not right. Don't do that. Okay. No, not giving money, but something else. Okay. And I said, okay, brother, uh, this is not good. And, um, you know, actually, this is not good. You are, a, you are a believer. You should not do that. He did not say anything to me. But after that, he is not giving money for me. No, I used to visit their house every month, but that brother is not giving anything to me. And I believe, I thought that, you know, oh, this person, I, I am, I'm called for ministry not by this brother, but I am called by God. God is there and I have the calling and I am doing the ministry and this person did not call me for the ministry. You know, this attitude is there. The problem is, you know, when we do something, when we do something, God is looking not how much you are doing or how much you are spending or how much uh, I mean, powerfully you are doing that, but God is looking the, the, the intention behind that work. That's the reason it says that you are doing many things with gold or silver. Okay? Not officially. Gold or silver or the hay or straw or uh, the wood or something. What are the things that you are doing? God is going to look after the quality of that thing. And God is going to look, I mean, test that work by fire, by fire. And that will prove that the things that you have done on this earth is valuable or not. According to that, you are going to receive the, I mean, crown from heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that's what, uh, I mean, I was uh, just thinking about uh, all those things that, you know, we have to understand God's presence is with us. Hallelujah. And we have the crown in heaven. Okay, there are five crowns described in New Testament. At the same time, let us think about how much we are going to receive from the heaven. How much we are going to receive? Maybe one I mean, crown, maybe two crowns, maybe three crowns, or four crowns, or five crowns may get one person. Okay, work for that. Put your full effort for that. At the same time, remember, I mean, God is not looking how much you are doing, but God is looking the intention behind the work behind the work. That's the reason God has arranged that rewarding ceremony as a judging ceremony and also a testing ceremony and we will go through that and sometimes we may lose some crowns 
and that is a shameful thing in front of other people so that is going to happen but this morning let us submit us with the mighty hand of god and uh, maybe maybe two more verses i would like to I mean, give you it is there maybe yeah, the next uh, i mean and daniel chapter 12 verse 3 and hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 let's all close our eyes in the presence of god hallelujah thank you master thank you master hallelujah hallelujah let us bring ourselves with the mighty hand of god this morning Amen. The Lord was speaking to us this morning. Hallelujah. I mean, in, in Daniel chapter 12 verse 3, it says that many who sleep in the dust of the ground will awake for the everlasting life, but the others for shame and everlasting punishment. There will be many people, even in heaven also, I mean, it, it, it's going to be an everlasting, I mean, life and I mean, everlasting eternal life. At the same time, the everlasting punishment. And also, when there will be a shameful thing which is happening there. I mean, you know, when we are getting only few or one or two, I mean, crowns in heaven, we will be in shame. But we are, if we are getting more crowns and more prizes in the presence of God in heaven, we will be, I mean, glorious. And we will become glorious. And we will be so happy. We are so excited to receive that crowns from heaven. Hallelujah. And also in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 it says that, Let us look unto Jesus who is the author and finisher of our faith. From him we will receive the crowns. Amen. We will receive the crowns from heaven. We will receive the crowns from Jesus. That we are looking forward for that. How many of you are giving yourself in the mighty hand of God? How many of you are searching for that? How many of you are I mean, seeking for that? And looking forward. Oh Lord, I need that crown, oh Lord. Many times uh, when, 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 when we are doing something in this world. In this earth, the earthly things are, I mean, which we are doing something for the Lord. I mean, is that, I mean, looking forward for that crown or simply doing something for the fame or uh, uh, to get a position or get to, 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 to get the appreciation from the people. No, we are supposed to, I mean, I mean, uh, do everything for the glory of the Lord. And, I mean, just looking forward for the crown in heaven. So let us all submit us with the mighty hand of God. And let us pray together. Oh Lord, help us, oh God. I mean, help us, oh God. Help us, oh God, uh, help us, oh God to be in heaven, oh Lord. When many times we are not thinking about, I mean, going to heaven. I mean, we are thinking, oh, I'm attending the Bible studies and, and church meetings and Sunday service and I'm putting offering or tithe or something. And it, that is okay to go to heaven. No, it is not okay to go to heaven. To go to heaven, you have to accept Jesus as your personal savior. Hallelujah. You have to give, I mean, Jesus, I mean, take Jesus as your personal savior and the Lord. Removing all the sinful nature from you and asking God, Oh Lord, I need your presence, O oh Lord. I need you in my heart, O oh God. And I receive Jesus as my personal Savior. And also, Bible says that, I mean, you have to be baptized in the Father name and the Son name and the Holy Spirit name. And that is, I mean, by faith, you are doing that. I mean, taking baptism. Amen. Hallelujah. Then after that, I mean, having the fellowship together with the people of God. And always, I mean, looking forward for the second coming of Jesus Christ. I mean, that's what the Bible says that, I mean, you have to, I mean, wait for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is very near. This morning, let us say that, oh Lord, I also need to be, I mean, taken up to heaven, I mean, when you are coming, oh Lord, in mid air, oh God. Hallelujah. This morning, let us also, I mean, submit us with the mighty hand of God. Submit everything and also let us do everything for the name of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord. And God is testing all our intention behind every doing, every work. So that, let's all submit ourselves with the mighty hand of God. And I